something a little different here today at Shaw's Garage. Uh, we bought a tractor. Um, not sure why we bought a tractor. I've always kind of liked old restored antique tractors. Never have had the room for one or the need for one or means to haul one around until recently. But uh, uh, this popped up and I, I just, I couldn't pass it up. And here's why I couldn't pass it up. It's a shawl. So how, how could I not bring this home? So it's a shawl do-all model N5. Um, and from what I can tell with just a little bit of research, I think this was the smallest uh, ride-on tractor that they ever built. They did do some walk-behinds like the David Bradley's. But uh, anyway, um, tractor's obviously been restored uh, some years ago. Whoever did it did a nice job. Uh, it's got new tires on it. and. I haven't washed it or cleaned it up yet or anything and you can see uh it's been apart and painted and uh, you know all the bolts are clean they're not just painted over so someone's had it apart and painted it and they did the lettering uh got shaw manufacturing in uh, galesburg kansas and then there's some uh, patent information i'm assuming that's on this uh, i think that's a gearbox right there um and What's neat about these is they appear to be built out of old Ford car parts, which, you know, with me being a Ford guy, makes it even more cool. Uh, if you look at the rear end, it appears to be a narrowed um, 30s Ford banjo style. Um, it's got mechanical brakes. You can see the, what they've done, they've just hooked a, a brake lever on each side, so you've got steering brakes. And I think Ford went to hydraulic brakes in the late 30s, so um, this would date it, you know, maybe to mid-30s. I don't know. Some of you Ford experts would know. And I'm assuming this is a little Ford three-speed uh, car transmission. And uh, I pulled the inspection cover, and it's got a, a regular car-type clutch in it. It looks to be about a nine-inch or so. Uh, definitely heavier than you would need for this apparatus. And then uh, looks like they've made a, a gearbox here that uh, connects up to the flywheel and clutch. And then this is a Briggs and Stratton Model 14. I think it's like a 14 FB or something. And I think they were rated at about five horsepower. Uh, rope start. And uh, like I said, somebody's done a nice job of the, of the little tractor. Um, it, it's just, I would guess from the the fading of the paint, it, it's probably tractor enamel, and that stuff dies back after a few years. I'd say it's been, you know, 10 or 15 years since it was restored, and obviously it's been kept inside. Uh, like I say, I have not even wiped it off or washed it or anything since I brought it home. It was just like this. And uh, relatively complete. Um, I've been trying to get it to run or run right and of course it's got a Chinese carburetor on it temporarily that's just there for troubleshooting I'm, I wouldn't dare leave that on something this era um, I've actually got the original carburetor and uh, it appears to be okay I just been chasing kind of a weird problem I'm gonna try to show you here in just a second if I can get the camera set up um, but this thing will start and uh, run for just a few seconds and then quit and it, it's just a weird problem for a small engine so I've got my work cut out for me on that but otherwise if I can get it to run I don't think there's gonna be anything to do I mean I've not found any leaks or I mean I say whoever did it seemed to do a pretty good job so anyway I'm gonna see if I can get uh, uh, get this set up where I can uh, show you how it's running or not running okay I'm gonna see if I can uh, start it. that's about all it'll do um, it 
it appears to be slightly heat related because if it's stone cold, I started it probably 30 minutes or an hour ago and it ran probably twice that long. The colder it gets, you know, ambient temperature, you can start it and it'll run maybe, you know, that was probably 10 seconds, 15 seconds. It'll run 30, 45 seconds and then just gradually start, you know, dying off. Um, it's not a carburetor, does the same thing with both carburetors. Um, not a spark plug. I've tried a condenser, so it doesn't appear to be uh, ignition related. It almost acts like somebody may have, um, I mean, the engine looks like it's been into. I'm wondering if somebody has got the uh, valves too tight in it. Um, and I'm assuming these engines are like most older uh, Briggs engines. You set the valve lash by filing the lifter. And if they've got it basically zeroed, as soon as this thing builds any heat and the parts expand just a little bit, it's gonna start holding the intake valve open and the thing just quits, it just quits pulling air and fuel. Uh, it's an updraft carburetor. Uh, it's the first thing I've ever owned with an updraft carburetor. Seems like they would be a little more sensitive to the engine vacuum. And once you begin to lose, you know, uh, the correct vacuum it's not going to pull and atomize fuel and it just basically just dies out like starves itself to death um, it's really strange I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull the cover or pull the hood off and maybe pull the head and and um, check a few things on the motor and we may end up having to and the motor may just be like totally worn out it's just, it's just I've never seen one I couldn't make run even if it was smoking really bad or rings were shot or something but we may end up um, you know, building this motor. I don't know, it, the tractor's obviously nice enough that we'll, you know, we'll do whatever we gotta do at some point. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of uh, do a quick video on it and uh, let you see uh, what it is. And there's very few videos out there about these uh, little shawl tractors. So maybe somebody um, will get something out of seeing this.